So we've left Johannesburg and we've flown to Port Elizabeth. Flight was at 20 past five this morning, so, you know, really early. I'm a hugger. Can we hug? <laughs> the school is actually set in the middle of um, quite a, a gang infested area, which means the safety for the children is the school and um, when they leave the school they're, they're open to um, gangs and things like that. What today's about is also being able to share your dreams with other people. Who believes here that if you work hard you can achieve what you want to achieve? Just raise your hands if you had dreams. Did you have a dream? Did you? Okay, so some of you haven't got your hands up. By the end of today, you're all going to have your hands up, okay? What's that? Box. A box. How many boxes? Two. Two boxes. Damika, what can you see? The moon. The moon. What are they doing here? They're having a picnic on the moon. More than coming, that's okay, we're having to bring more because I haven't got big enough arms to carry them all. Our learners come from very poor backgrounds. Unemployment amongst the parents, about 90% of the parents are unemployed. And they live in shacks, most of them, um, not even in houses, and the shacks are overcrowded. And they live with, not even their parents, they live with anybody. It isn't until you see some of the situations that some of these children are in that you really realise the impact of that gift and the impact of creating an environment where they're able to explore what the message of Little Chick Has Lunch on the Moon means. And so many of the teachers today have explained that for all of these children, this is the first book they've ever had. And to see them holding on to their books today and knowing that it's their book, and it's their book forever, has been priceless. We assume they don't understand because we maybe don't understand what our own dreams are. But these children know what it is that they want. They just need an environment to explore it and an environment to be able to share their dreams safely. And that's what we give them with the Dreams Workshops. It is absolutely 100% that most of them doesn't have a book. They don't have anything at home. For them to own a book, to have received a book from, from Alison is, I think, one of the wonders of the world for them. They will cherish that book because it's theirs, it was given to them and they, they own it. Today I think I've seen the difference that this book is making the difference that our dreams workshops are bringing for children that deserve it and for children that need it and in return we get a bigger gift we get a gift of knowing that those children are walking away with hope have you had fun today yeah! can i tell each and every one of you how special you are i want you to know that you are here on purpose and you are here with a purpose. And there is nobody else like you in the world. Nobody else like you in the world.